Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Hey. What's the name of the product? Grail, as in the Holy Grail. It's the water filtration cup. We met at a conference. She was in aerospace and I'm a scientist, so we started working together. To start out, I took a mortgage out of my house. Nancy and I are 100% in. My life savings, we invested everything that we had to make this product a success. What separates this item from the other 900 filters that I see out there? One is the fill press drink action. This uses positive pressure. You're saying that you're using force. It's like a French Nobody press. else is doing that? No. The other is the interchangeable filters. The blue one is for everyday use when you're here in the city. The green one is for outdoors. And then the orange one is for international travel. Americans use almost 50 billion plastic water bottles a year. If the grail works and can eliminate even a small portion of that, it would be huge for the planet and good business. Now the claim is you can make dirty water safe to drink just like you make French press coffee. It's crucial that Grail actually works because it only takes one drop of infected water to make you really, really sick. We got three different types of filters here. There's activated carbon in all three. That's one of the technologies okay. embedded in the filter. Activated carbon is cool stuff. If you look at it under a microscope, you'll see it's filled with millions of tiny little pores. Water flows around these pores, but contaminants dissolved in the water get adsorbed by the carbon. Grail uses an ultra-powdered form of activated carbon. So when you press down on the plunger, you're forcing contaminants to come in contact with millions and millions of these tiny pores. These makers are pretty confident. I'm gonna see if I can make them squirm a little. I'm gonna get some toilet water and see if the filter can make it clean enough to drink. That's right out of the bowl, baby. Oh, that looks tasty, Brooke. Okay, watch the drips. Okay. You ready? This is the hardest of the presses. Do you feel impatient about it? Not at all. Are you OK waiting for the press? I am putting enough pressure to let the filter do its thing. I'm not pushing so hard that it's uncomfortable. You want that long time to sit on there to take out the virus's bacteria. OK. Give me my glass. <laughs> You're telling me that that is clean enough to drink? Bottoms up. Tastes like water. <laughs> <laughs> I got to admit, though, I don't know that I want to drink the whole thing. You know what I mean? Right. And I'm not saying your product doesn't work, but I'm saying maybe your product doesn't work. I don't know yet. <laughs> to find out if Brooke drank something bad for him, we got a water test kit from the hardware store. I'm going to dip one strip in the toilet water and one strip in the water we filtered with the grail and see how they compare. So if it comes up clean for nitrate, then it should be free from other fecal contaminants. Woo, that one got some color coming in it. There's a dramatic difference. This is just toilet water, and that's filtered, man. This one seems like there's so much there, it's almost off the chart it's so dark, yet yours is right there at the zero level of safe. Yes, it filters out nitrates and chlorine and metals, basically everything but salt, but we're gonna try one more test. Hopefully, we'll be able to see this process happening visually. We can take cola and basically filter a little bit of cola and turn it from this color to clear, basically, water. That'll be weird if this works at all. Yeah, I've never I mean, done this. <laughs> and with any luck. Is it coming out clear? We'll turn it clear. OK, that is weird. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Interesting. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's eye-opening. <laughs>